Hello friends and bees and friends who are also bees. Welcome to this week's Final Fantasy XIV stream. Um, this week we are going to be continuing the story on our shard. We're going to be starting off by hopping straight into the dungeon. Uh, I just need to load in first. And I forgot how bad my glam was. Also for some reason my audio reset itself which is great. Um, gonna be uh I might take a moment to go redo my glamour because I'm pretty certain I'm gonna get in some cutscenes soon and then also pick up the uh items that I acquired recently I am really cold it was the 20 28th of April and I'm freezing. It is 7 out, apparently 7C, but it feels like 6. And we've got highs of 6, no, it's highs of 19 on Monday, but it's going to be raining. Like, oh, so I just hit my mic there. On the one hand, April showers do bring May flowers, but on the other hand, really? Really? Um, tell you what, I'll swap over to the GP. Might as well um, uh, start queuing up for the revel now. You want to pick it up? Uh, no? I'm dumb. That's what it is. Start queuing for that and then I'll go uh, pick up my. I bought a shard some clothes. He has. I bought him Ian's outfit um, and then realised I hadn't decided what class I was gonna match it to, but. I was just like, he'll look really good as Ian's outfit. That's better. Right. Host Moogle. Post Moogle? No Post Moogle. I'm just gonna have that notification forever then, I guess. Why did I think there was a post Moogle here? Why did I think that? Whatever. reconnect my bot as it's repeatedly disconnected due to um, Virgin Media being l the literal worst. Okay, if I was a post Moogle, I would be... I'm not fucking here as well. There he is. I'm good at this, know what I'm doing. My bots are connected, my upstairs neighbours are thumping away. All is as it should be. Items. Um, 
I need to clear up my oh, Jesus Christ. Clear up my inventory a little. I am also very sorry if you can hear upstairs um thumping away. I am in a state of constant hell. These neighbours. Let me in. God, I've Sorry, I'm completely distracted there. Spiky. All my glamours are terrible. Oops, hold on. This is going to be my samurai one. That's it. That's the main reason I did this. cuts to me utterly unable to remember who I assigned to what box Be sensible, people who are not me. Thank goodness we're waiting for this queue so I can carry out the utterly mind-numbingly boring uh, task of clearing out my inventory. Why have I kept so much monk stuff that I don't use? Why did I do that? Why would I do a thing like that? Did I like forget what classes I was going to do on what character? Did I absolutely forget to make room to, um... I am Samurai. You're not Samurai though. Local gay is absolutely baffled by their inability to do anything helpful whatsoever. Oh, it looks really bad on Marshard. Which sucks, because it looks so nice on Maeve.
Yes, by the way, if you're watching this and you're wondering, I did indeed name um, uh, both of my um, retainers after characters in the Foxhall Court because when I first made May, uh, made Arshad rather, I was absolutely obsessed with it. I mean, I sort of still am, but to a lesser degree, I've calmed down a little bit. Oh, fool. Do you have a third retainer who can hold on to things? I'm not doing these in any order anymore at this point. I'm just fucking throwing them everywhere in a desperate attempt to get things out of my inventory. Casting, spending, return to inventory. Okay. Paying attention now, remembering how to pay this class, waking up a bit. Hoping my bot is alive. My bot is alive, thank goodness for that. It just disconnected because Virgin Media is ass. Amazingly, didn't get hit by that. I'm surprised every day that I exist. My poor guest girl. My only dragon fire dive is still on cooldown. My uh, AOE rotation is these three. I'm 
absolutely not in the right place, but... I feel like I always get uncomfortable when someone tells a baby tank to pull everything. Like, really? They are extremely little. I'm absolutely in the wrong- I'm sorry. With apologies only to this tank, uh, or this heater even. Please, my crops are dying. I'm fucking up my rotation. You think? It'd be pretty easy not to fuck up, but, um, you haven't met me. Time to practice my rotation. Do this and this and boop. One, two, three, four, other four. One, two, three, four. Other four. Three. Four. I suck at that. I'm so bad at judging that. that time. Two, three, four, other four. Three, four, other four. Probably, probably buff at some point, huh? Probably be helpful. Phew, made it that time. Four. But. One. Two. Please stop turning the boss. You are so lucky that I am not on.
monk or I would be losing my shit. Six. Need on those bitches. Okay, it's time to sit here and mouse click. I have Dragonfly Dive. My favourite. Mostly I'm impressed that this samurai is losing aggro to the healer, who is possibly doing more damage than the rest of us combined. Jesus. Probably gonna lose Nostrand again, but hey, that's just how it be in this bitch of old. <laughs> Jesus, our tank's been playing for a week and a half. Hurry up and pull, please hurry up and pull, please hurry up and pull, I'm about to lose Nostrand. So distracted that I royally fucked up my rotation. I've lost my third Mistrand. Yeah. Whoops, wrong button. Jump in there because why not? Two, three, four. Other four. Um, this is the 
problem. remember that my dot rotation is the one that's on the butt. Why do I keep doing this? I keep fucking this up. You think? It wouldn't be that hard to remember, but hey, I'm just that bad. If you're a caster, this is the dungeon for you. It is extremely cold. I mean, maybe it's just me. I might actually put my fire on. Just because I'm absolutely freezing. bees. I am a cold bee. Want me? What have I ever done to you, meow? should start a new thing how to use dps cues to go empty out your inventory and shit for fun and profit hi how are you i hope you're doing well i hope you are having a good day Shadowbringers on our shard, which currently involves going through the ravel and uh, sucking royal arse at Dragoon. I don't know what I'm doing and I refuse to learn. 
Actually, that's a lie. I will probably spend ages obsessing over this when I hit level 80 in order to get my rotation. Um, because I do intend to keep Dragoon as my main on Ashard. Because the other classes I'm doing on him, I've got, um, <laughs> Ren Mage, uh, Dancer and Ninja. Oh no. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I really need to sit down at some point and actually start to like plan and coordinate my move. Because um, even though it's not for five, four months really, um, you want to be ready, you know? Um, uh, but that is just too spooky for me right now. Okay. And then this one is normal and it's to the side. One, two, three, side. Nope. Oh no. Ugh, scary. Yeah, I sort of, I just want to be like prepared more than anything. I fucked up. My thinking is if I am going off to college and moving halfway across the world, um, I kind of just want to like not have to coordinate too much during that whole process i just want things to be easy and sorted what that now by the way why use uh gears go first I really am gonna have to fuck about with my keybind some. This is not working. So. I'll just hit an old class, it'll be fine. Or hit my old buttons. autumn I will be um, physically yeeting myself across the globe in order to go uh, do a studying um, and I'm sure it will be fine I'm actually really excited um, it's just that I'm also really nervous um, because I'm always nervous for big life changes. Um, but also, um, uh, because, yee, it's cute. Um, I'm nervous because it is a massive change and it's also been like three, I'm gonna let the samurai limit break because I'm in the middle of my Nostron phase and I want to enjoy it. There you go. Uh, I'm nervous because it's a massive change and also yeah I haven't, it's been actually four years this summer since I've been out of college uh, so I'm just a little bit shitting myself at the idea of like going back and existing.
Nice. So I find, I'm really, I'm not very good at Dragoon. I find with Dragoon, I spend a lot of time having to concentrate really hard on my rotation. Pardon me, it's not really become habit yet. Um, so I find it really hard to say things while also fighting as Dragoon. Let's go. No comms. I really do need to mess with my um I might do what I do for Monk, or I have it be 4 EQ, 1, 2, 3. Except it's the same for both of those. I don't know. We'll find out what the best option is. I shall enjoy this, uh... enjoyed this cutscene. I really wish I'd not started Shadowbringers on Ashard and then never finished it because I would also really like to um, be able to like do it from scratch. I think it loses a bit of its impact when you pick up in the middle of a story. stuff is like one and a half times as tall as me. My warden is dead. The blessed's prayers have been answered. Aye, that they have. <laughs> His condition yet troubleth thee. It does. Though he shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. He must be told. Told of what? Wink. Wink, wink. Could you describe it to me, Marie-Ange? Paint the mere picture with your words. That line makes me really sad because it reminds me a lot of my dad. It made me sad when I first played it and it makes me sadder now. Exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. Got a hair in my mouth. I like that she basically pats Orianger on the butt there because she's so small. Well fought. Let us return home. Yours. It 
Fun fact, in Eden 8, um, she of Eden does this jump and it, it's really cool. Emmett Selk's shoulders are way too long for his person. That's what I've... It's the only thing I can think when I see him, is that his upper body looks oddly proportioned. Chariots wobbly. I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and fewer territories, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. Turn this up a little bit. The worst part, no one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. Vision shared a paradise lost, preserved only in song and scripture and paint. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again to look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. great sundering there was one world a world that knew naught but peace and prosperity until it was faced with a crisis unprecedented terrifying something i find really cool is we don't we still don't know yet what the cause of this was mighty and magnificent deserving of reverence and gratitude the way i keep thinking about this is what's the phrase absolute power corrupts absolutely from the fears of these namesakes would rise hyden she who was to serve as his shackle to bind him and the thing is hyden clearly doesn't have absolute power in fact she's very weak Today's lesson on long forgotten history. 
though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wont. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not the daughters of Hercules, but... Think! of the first. Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh. Oh. They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. and most powerful of primals. You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Essenes in all of <laughs> The other thing you have to think is that How is it you part of what to ancient secrets primals time? are is in influenced by the will of, uh, of those who summon them. But that leaves the worrisome thought that but if if Zodiac was summoned to destroy an evil, it was to say it wouldn't keep going after that. Whereas it seems like Hydaelyn was summoned to get rid of him, but more importantly, to regenerate the worlds. Also, Solus is, or Elmet Sulk, for me, is just the ultimate example of cool motive still murder. It makes perfect sense he'd want to go back to his paradise existence, but. My response is, tough titties. Whatever happened, happened, and now we have to live with the consequences. I personally don't want to be killed in order to facilitate the rejoining, and I don't want my personal planet to stop existing. The other thing is, Ashard can sympathise much more because all he really cares about is Ashgard. At this point, he's a lot. He's, he really is like, I don't care for all of this. Lucky. Like, he's, he's a lot like, hey, this is a whole bunch of, of, um, of nonsense. I don't get this cosmological shit. I'm not here for it. I spent all the truth. I pray that it is not his. What's the hydrogen solution that I make? No, I will not take the words from Asian on trust. I don't fully understand what all of this means. Lightning experience, they're not in the way I'd hoped. Do you suppose there's any truth in his claims? No clue. Through recent events, pain, war, and further discussion, I think it best that we wait until I can know the other's presence. Such included. How convenient he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. So now we should return to Fanon and make that deal more in withdrawal. That's the bath. The rest is no doubt elated by what's become of the sky. In a second, I'm actually gonna teleport to New Gridania and hand in enjoying music but no so, so Ashad at this point is like I don't care about all this cosmological nonsense this world creation world centering all of this all he wants is to be able to go home um, for uh, the sake of Ashad's story I'm discounting all these bits where he travels home um, and saying that he uh, he can't um, this is all non-canon he's he's uh, has to be stuck in the first, unable to travel back like the rest of them, um, only able to sort of ring back um, because otherwise he would not be here. He would have gone back to, uh, to um, Ishgard and said, 
What? Hang on, did I do a stupid? Sure did. Whoops. Oh, why? I guess I thought I would have... Very odd. This surprise is precisely no one. the hell out of me that did. Yep, I understand where expert delivery is. No. Um, I want to hide armory chest items. Basically, bear with me while I Hand in loads of stuff. If I don't, however, my inbox, my uh, inbox, Jesus, my inventory will be full forever, and uh, I will be driven around the bend. Can't hand any of this in. Uh, Fuck. Don't want. Um. Forgive me while I do the incredibly boring business of um, sorting sorting shit out. How do you rename? You have to... Can 
Can you tell that I was really bored when I um, named my chocobo and I panicked and just gave him a random name? Here we go. Right, let's get back to the story. And after that brief uh, alter interlude where we got distracted and um, did other things for a bit. Also, now we can fly, which is very exciting, but I'm going to finish this bit of the story first. God, it looks like such a dweeb with my uh, fleece turned up practically to my neck, but... You returned, and unarmed, I see. Indeed, I'm pleased to report the Light Warden is no more, thanks in large part to you. A single sin needed to make such a difference. As the numbers wane, so too did our hope that ruins would devote our lives to guarding whatever fine purpose. The allies for whom we waited these many centuries, with your offer came a chance to pass on a legacy, ancient within the Empire. Never did we imagine it would serve to banish the light that pervaded these woods. On behalf of the Vey, our forebears, and later our Rumpa, you have our deepest thanks. You're welcome. I'll turn you through the katana rabble proved most enlightening. To be privy to such knowledge as honour, one for which we never hoped. Please, you need not be so humble. But do our duty as decreed by the late Emperor. Would that he were still with us to express his gratitude in person. But sister, does this not mean our duty is fulfilled? To our eyes, perhaps, but the ruins cannot be left unguarded. As long as we live here in these woods, secrets of Monka must not fall into the wrong hands. The wrong can hands. Is Runa still here? We escort him back to set the bar shortly after he set out. If you turn to the night's blessed, we will not keep you any longer. We suspect they would be grateful for your company. Every day of my life. Look forward to a day we might show a more leisurely visit to the ruins of Ronka. We'll await your return. Every day of my life, I'm grumpy that um, Ishtola's outfit is only available for female characters and that I can't wear it on male characters because I personally happen to think it would look fucking banging on Maeve. Uh, on, on, well, it would look banging on Maeve, but it would look really good on Ashard as well. I'm gonna do all these, uh, all the side quests off camera. I've got like stacks of them to do. I'm saving them for uh... saving them for ultimate alt classes. Riven Frost when it's at home. Must be an up upgrade to one of these. Don't know which one it would be there. Whatever. We'll find out in about half a level. Ah, you are returned. And none the worse for wear, I see. Yep. You needn't worry about us. What became of you more and soldiers more importantly? Chilly. Your tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. As well they all. The children of the everlasting dark have also retreated back to Woven Oak. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. The 
sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need know pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain <laughs> suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. Thanks, Rina. You are the bringers of shadow. That's me. The warriors of darkness. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. I thought it's like, ah, much to my annoyance. I suppose you're not entirely wrong. But we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say. Please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. Always party time where I'm involved. I'm sorry, Rina. Damn it, Strola. Much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. Only that you hold us in your hearts, as we would hold you in ours. Now and thereafter, by the boundless dark, this I swear. Ghost boy. Oh, but makes me sad that or something. Should have known this was coming. I felt it in my bones, but I didn't want to acknowledge it. Right, just realized I did a stupid, so bear with me. some point um words are difficult um at some point i set my Trust. Um. 
Well, it's very difficult. What I want to say was at some point I set my Raytheon screenshot to, um, uh, Radiant screen screenshot to be the one that I use, uh, also for, um, getting into my Chocobo saddlebag and it's very annoying. Actually, going to keep those because they are relatively pricey. Discard that. Pretty certain I can discard both of these. I'll finish moving those over at some point. To be honest, I could probably discard them. I don't really need to hold on to them. It's just habit, and I haven't got a uh, retainer who's got space to hold things for me. Okay, pretty cycle that this gets me over to 76. why I track my wondrous tales as if it wasn't going to have long since expired. Fine, we'll just sit here hitting one and two repeatedly. You love to see it. See me forget how creepy. This uh, music can be. Legal skirt. 
Jen Delock, clothing is dumb and stupid and for cowards. No game in the year of our Lord 2020 should have Jen Delock clothing. This is my hill and I can and will die on it. The thing that pisses me off also about that is that I can't even try it on to see what I'm missing or like to see what it would it, what it would look like on a taller character it's like nope well get fucked I don't know, do some shit. God, I love uh, gap places on my right, lads. on because I am bad at this game. Dance on, get to dance on, honey. It's okay, Summoner. I won't tell if you won't. Tell about what? Nothing. I didn't get distracted. I didn't forget where I am. That was someone else.
you're not careful here and you stand in the AOE, you become cute. If you're not careful and you're like me, you forget that you're existing. My leg has gone to sleep, as it so often does, and it is really quite annoying. What's also annoying is the fact that I got here, despite absolutely solidly being out of that. My AOE rotation is two buttons. Uh, conveniently, what happened there is that um, the sound of um, uh, the boss uh, landing on the floor happened at exactly the same same time as somebody upstairs dropped something. to get very confused about where sounds were coming from. I'm inevitably going to lose and strong before the boss anyway, so God, good God, my leg is half asleep. Bangs. Why am I like this? Where are you going? Come back. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give up. I really am going to have to change this somehow.
I do one, two, three, four, E, Q, mark the mouse button. Did I do that? Is that a thing I could do? worth trying I suppose. Certainly can't hurt rather. Saw that, I certainly didn't see that. Here we go. I know that you're only supposed to use AOE if it's groups of three or larger, but frankly, I'm incredibly lazy. If I can just sit here mouse clicking two buttons, I will. Ain't nobody can stop me. Sorry, I have nothing to say. I keep forgetting that I'm live. If I'm honest, I'm like really out of it. I feel like that's been me for the last, really the whole year. If I'm brutally honest and honestly brutal, um, the issue is that I have been exhausted um, for the, really the last like five months. Uh, basically since the end of November I've been exhausted all the time and I think it's due to the old fifis, the old honey nut filios uh, and my brain's rampant refusal to process things like a sensible person should. Um, but nonetheless I'll continue to push on with life as if it's normal and then get confused when I'm really tired. Totally. Oh well. Can you avoid pulling for like five seconds so that, okay, well, I guess. Two. 
heal. Ah, heal, I can heal for it, it's fine. Never mind. That's right. Oh no. I'm really glad that I um, swapped to electronic statements all the way up until I have to uh, guesstimate income from three years ago because my, uh, my bank statements for my current account don't go back that far. Uh, and that's when I get really annoyed. Um, Oh, that reminds me to uh, see. I'm trying to think, if campus is open tomorrow, I might go in just to use a printer for a bit. But I also like don't want to spend more time turning the computer on than I do printing. I wonder if I could just bring my laptop in and just use my laptop. I could go to one of the other campuses, but um, I don't know where any of the printers are at that campus. Don't you love to see somebody pretty much ignoring what you've just said not to do? Jesus. Please stop it. Hmm. You love to see it.
Nice. shit that you like to see. Every so often I check Discord and I see conversations about another server that I'm in and I briefly get so glad that I don't regularly check that server because it just seems like an endless source of stress sometimes. And by sometimes I mean very often. Once again, in the land. Um, of not being able to. Do anything. Yeah, so that, that Discord man, sometimes it just, there are people in it who just get, they just go too ham and you're like, okay, but you don't need to, you don't need to do that, you know, like, you want to be like, you can just like, not. Um, and that's my story. Isn't it a wonderful one? Prayer circle that leveling ow, gets me up to 76 so I can keep going. Let's go find us a bell to drop stuff off on. Mm -hmm. I got here healing healing and stabbing I am going to at some point get a third retainer, uh, call them Kev in. Some wacky version of Kevin. Wait. Sorry for the notification noises in the background there.
I'm gonna have to start hoarding dancer stuff, I guess. There really is no point in um keeping there's no point in keeping caster stuff below sixty. That's where no cast us up below fifty, right? So, yeah, cast up looks up at fifty. Whenever I was given gear that was um, worse than what I already had, um, I picked up the caster stuff um, under the perhaps naive assumption that my the next class class that I would level um, would be uh, red mage. And then I had the thought that, uh, as I well know, leveling two DPS classes in a row was a nightmare. So, I'm gonna do Dragoon, then Arcanist, which I will turn into Scholar, then probably Red Mage, then Marauder, then Rogue, then Dancer. I haven't decided on the exact uh, order, but... Something along those lines. There's so many DPS classes that, um, by the nature of the beast, I do have to level. Maybe I should... S I sort of want to finish with Dancer because I feel like that'll be a nice easy one to get up from, from 60, you know? I don't... I would pa I'm kind of tempted to try for Namaro, um, but I also kind of like don't want to, you know? Like, I would rather do what my current plan, which is level different classes on different characters. For me, that just makes it a bit easier, because then it's like, these are the classes that this character would have had, and I can tie into their story, like how every class that Maeve picks up is part of their, like, obsession with different types of magic. Um, and, uh, for example, um, uh, Myron, another one of my alts, um, she, I've uh, decided was Bojian, uh, Bojian, however you want to say it. So she started as a gun breaker because that's where gun breaking of the non gallian kind, such as ours, um, originated from. Um, and then, um, Uh, sorry, so she was originally a gun breaker. Um, and then uh, she was a pirate. And then when she washed up on the shore, uh, she could not um, be a gun breaker anymore. So she picked up gladiatoring because she read that um, you could make money being a gladiator. And she liked the sound of that. And then later in Heaven's Ward, she picks up uh, Machinist because it makes her think of, of Gunbreaker. Um, and then uh, in
trying to bring us. She picks up Gunbreaker again and then swaps and becomes a Gunbreaker main. And yes, I have scripted a uh, tank class uh, change into my playthrough on my run, my third alt, um, because of who I am as a person. Personally, I love it when the um, boss changes position just as you hit your positional phase. It's my favourite thing, quite frankly. I need to eat, that's what I should do. Going to lose blood of the dragon ring! Once again, I've got tennis court stuck in my head. It's left over from Sunday when it was playing in my head for approximately 15 years. Still trying to work out what an Earth Ride and Thrust is an upgrade of. Is it Sonic Frost? No. Has to be something you get. abilities that I got. I mean, many, but... Good old Max Melee! Dance that you can stand further away. me. Thank you. 
Ah. This dungeon is the uh, origin of the coffins for hands. Or hands for coffins, whoops. Arms for coffins, that's it. God, I can't even remember the memes that I myself generated by being unable to speak. <sighs> that is hashtag problematic. Lock, my best friend. You know what I should really do is I should just spend like some time off camera just fucking leveling and then just get our shard up to 80 and then like that's it. Um, I've decided I'm not going to do uh, anything on Myron until um, New Game Plus is out um, for um, Iran Reborn because I want to see what it's like with the like new experience um and also it'll make it more more easier it'll make it easier and more cohesive and also also um i'm really excited for the fact that you won't be getting level locked anymore and i think they're going to change the like they're going to change more of it so hopefully they're going to change the whole thing so that there won't be any more of this oh no i had to take a break in the story um because i had to like grind out some levels um because it's kind of really egregious uh so hopefully that will be stopping and changing especially given that myron is the only one of my characters who is like enough of a hero that she would like she wouldn't stop like me if we'd get distracted and our shard is like do i really have to do this but my run is like well this is my destiny my fate so this is what i will do remember this dude at all so that's good This is how it be. Just thinking about the other reasons that I chose um, for my characters to get the classes they do. Ashad sort of got like the 
the rest. Actually, no, that's not true. Um, I did have like a reason for why I chose Ashad's um, classes like they are. It's just not a good reason, you know? Um, I was like, so I wanted to give him the like flirty question mark classes. Um, and he has Scholar and Marauder because um, that's what worked. Because uh, the reason Myron has um, Samurai and um, Black Mage and White Mage is that she would go for the strongest. Nice! 76. She would go for like the beefiest. Um, so. She's always going to be like, how do I wear this? She's always going to go for the, not necessarily the highest DPS classes, but the most impactful classes. Um, So, healing and stabbing, and healing and stabbing, healing and stabbing, stabbing and healing, stabbing and healing. and 70 gloves. Stick one up, heal a belt. And this is where I have to admit I really don't know what to do with my uh, dancer stuff. I might just like start shuffling it into the dark corners. Either that or I'll do what I should do, which is uh, go ahead and buy a third retainer. But can you imagine me doing something sensible like that? No, no, you can't is the answer. I want you to sell some things for me. There we go. Let's go do some more story. inventory while I was there. Oh well, my uh, my inventory, Jesus, my glamour. So it pains me to leave, it's time for a return with you and the others to Christian. Before we go, might I speak with you in private? I'll await you in my chambers. Wink. Sorry, Aruna. You know, I just had to do it to him. 
Thank you for coming. I thought to keep my suspicions to myself, but after witnessing your victory or acting force, I fear they proved true, and so I must share them with you. From the first when we met at Forgone, the ether has appeared tainted, suffused with an overabundance of light, not unlike the Sun Eaters. When you defeated the Light Warden, I fear the light which poured forth from you it was not negated by Hadden's blessing, rather it was absorbed into your being. Yuri and Jael suspects so much, though he's unwilling to share his thoughts on the matter. One thing is certain, with every warden you defeat, the danger to you grows greater, greater perhaps than we can imagine. If you begin to feel anything strange, anything at all, pray and inform me at once. You should hurry before the others begin to worry. Once I've sorted my things here, I will join you. The problem with this is it reaches this point, and this is really when Ashad is like, just like, can I go? Like, can I just go home? Do I have to? Um. Ashad is not a self-sacrificing kind of guy um, at all, ever. And so he's very much sort of of the opinion that we took one that's patrol the perimeter. All things considered, Slither Mal remains relatively unscathed. Thanks to the antidote, all those who are poisoned will make a full recovery. When the night sky returned, the praise of the last been answered. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Shall we be off then? Art thou certain this is best? <laughs> I'll not deny there's a part of me that wishes I could stay. For two years I've lived with the blessed, learned their culture, even going so far as to adopt Master Matoya's name as my own. I but pray I did honour to it. Now is not the time for doubt or hesitation. Come, we must return to the Crystarium. A thing I keep thinking with Ashad is that the number of off-camera um, conversations that must happen that are just people saying hey please do this please so like i had kind of at the end of shadowbringers um he's Ashad is finally able to go back to the first and his instinct is to just fuck off and be like right i'm done with this uh, it's source rather but he's, he's ready to be like i'm not i'm having nothing to do with this anymore um and there has definitely been a couple of off-camera conversations of people just being like hey you can't do that like You've got to do the thing. You don't want to, but you've got to. Can't remember. Is it armor angle clues your next? I believe it's armor. No, is it? I can't remember. It appears all as well. Hopefully, the others will arrive before long. Said he'd be watching the shadows, but it doesn't seem wrong to at least leave without telling him. No, Reen, as I will now call you. It doesn't. All things considered, hardly surprising that Alfie and Alice are dead to alive. But where is the exarch? My friends, it's good to see you again. There's that boy. Alphano, it has been too long. I assume your presence here means you brought word of the warden hiding in Rectica? Did the thing. Found and slain, you say? I should have known. You almost but recently dispatched soldiers to all quadrants of Norfran to defend them. I'm glad to see their efforts were wasted on the Great Wood. Speaking of you more, what came for your meeting with Valfrey? About that, it proved to be... <sighs> mustn't push yourself. Turn away from the tower's clearly taken its toll. No doubt you're all tired as well, having travelled so far. One of you will take a much needed rest before we discuss our findings. Thought your place the very same. After your cash with the warden, you deserve a chance to recuperate. Settle then. We reconvene after everyone has had the time to settle in. Yeah. Let us go repair. go to bed. Gonna go hang out with Arbert. Hang out with the ghost boy. Ooh. And A new class quest. I don't know. I kind of want to push ahead with a story and then do the class quest like later. 
Turn from Netflix session ticket. Your room has been made ready if you care to retire. Please give me some tomato juice. <laughs> Hi, Arthur. There is a light sealed inside you, is there? Did you know that you're really short compared to me? You look the same as you ever did to me. Then I suppose there's naught to do but rest. Ah, yes. They're not asking you to fight, they're telling you to rest. <laughs> Which isn't to say they're wrong. You'll need your strength for what's to come. I think he was telling the truth. about Heidling being no different from any other primal. I... Mm. If so, what would that make her blessing? Are we just slaves to her will? I don't think so. In, well, in fact, for Rasha, that's canonically not the case, because... Lies the Asian stop in trade. Although, actually, it would be really... Fond memory, another's waking nightmare. Me, I'm no saint or savior. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, I felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. <laughs> It definitely for Ashar actually it makes sense because if he had the choice he would be he'd be finished at the end of Ishgard he wouldn't have even gone into Stormblood and I heard canon that he went into Stormblood because he and Lucy had a conversation about home and so he decided to help her regain what he had lost uh, and then regained and that's like Scouts have to report. Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. Scalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to yep, hold the for so long. But then they did have Ishgardian <laughs> reinforcements. Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Is but the calm before the storm. And should the Empire choose to bring their full might to bear? To say nothing of Black Rose. All the more reason to hasten our search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough, though I have received some troubling intelligence. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. It's Elizinos. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. Were I a betting man, I would stay here, in the capital. Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning, but a corpse might. Given the right encouragement. <laughs> In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host. 
So the question becomes who? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done. Sorry, I was just googling who voiced Gaius because I remember looking it up and I was right. Alright, Xenos. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, what I was going to say and then sort of spaced out of was that it makes sort of horrible sense for a shard if he feels this like compelling force to always Sorry, he feels this like compelling force to, to um, always be doing this even though he doesn't want to and then it turns out that compelling force is because it is Heidelin. Um, I just think that's delicious and horrible. Right. Not sure how long we're going to go, but we'll see. I could scarcely manage to be through such a commotion. Entire host of sneaks appeared to be advancing upon the crystalline. Emergency measures being taken as we speak. Rest assured, however, we are safe so long as we remain under the crystal towers aegis. May return to your quarters if you wish. Thought you might feel that way. Cannot say your assistance would be anything less than welcome. You must remain here to disseminate information. You have no such obligation. Thus, due to aid any of the townsfolk who may be in distress. Excited to return to become one concrete times of need. You'd have my personal gratitude if you'd offer succour to those there. I. Go chat to some people in the Exeter. I think I'm gonna push to 80 and then. Or at least push to 79 and then hopefully the everything that I do will get me over to 80. Few times for a crop you spy none. Pity me distressed. Oh, shard. Just returned from Mamre. I found Christine moments away from being beset. Where are they coming from? It shouldn't be possible. We restored the darkness. This fortunate coincidence. Tell me I some idea what's happening. I may, but for the moment we'll need to postpone such discussions in favour of action. Russ Larks are preparing to deploy Baron on Christine as we speak, ensuring he's able to should be our first concern. A number of instruments placed around the Crystallium that function as anchors. One way to place them now. Take the ones to the south. Deal with the ones northern. We handle the western too. So I've got waffles. Let's go. One of my favourite things um, about the Crystallium is that when it rains, sometimes it rains inside these domes. Luckily it is a sunny afternoon. Mm. 
my body is falling to pieces. I really so often I just get twinges of pain at random. There's no good reason for it. It just happens. Basically, uh, hopefully did that right. Time to go get that one. Yeah, I think off camera I'm going to try and push up two levels to... Uh, I'll start at 78, I think. And then see how we're going. It would be interesting to see... At, at the moment, like, how many levels you can get just from doing a story. <laughs> I should probably, like, pay attention, really. I reckon it's about five. I reckon it's about half through story and dungeons and then half through having to grind, so... Divide that again by two, 76 now. I've got four levels left to go. If I push to 78, that should get me sorted. But that does, of course, depend on me getting my shit together. Right, and seeing as we're about to go into an instance, and this dramatic um, uh, cliffhanger, I'm gonna end things off here. I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. It is very, very much appreciated. And I do hope that you enjoyed. Uh, I know it's a little bit early, but I think this is a really good point to, uh, to close things off. I'll try and, and um, get at least like a level higher off camera, but I'm currently really enjoying Assassin's Creed Unity, so that's what I've been doing. But anyway, that shall be it for now. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I very much do appreciate it, and I do hope that you enjoyed. I will be streaming Higurashi When They Cry to Tari Garoshi this Thursday, uh, where we are going to see the introduction of a pretty shitty guy and start to see the preparation for a pretty questionable festival. Then on Saturday, uh, we will be starting Dishonored 2. So far, it looks like I'm going to be playing as Emily, but there is still time to vote. If you go to uh, Twitter, um, I will retweet it directly after this, uh, after I finish stream. So if you hop over to, uh, to my account on Twitter, uh, at Mochi Streams, um, then that'll be the thing. Um, words are so difficult. Um, and we'll be starting just on the Sunday will be Destiny 2, where we are going to be moving on to the season of the Forge and doing the story for that. Um, then on next Tuesday will be more Final Fantasy 14, where we're going to be pushing ahead with the story. Um, I really can't remember it, so I'm excited. But anyway, take care, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Do look after yourselves. Be excellent to each other. I'm going to go make some tea and have some ice cream because I love to be contradictory. And um, yeah, take care, have a wonderful evening and I shall see you guys on Thursday.